Hello and welcome to the Stack Explorers channel. So this video is specifically for ALX students in Nigeria. It will simply show you how you could book an appointment at your hub without any hassle. All right. So first off, you want to come down to this website. I'll be dropping the link at the description of this video below. The website is alxnigeria.skida.com. Quickly, I'll type that out. ALX Nigeria. Skeda, S -K -E -W -D -A com. You can check that on the description below and you'll find the link right there. So once you smash on the enter button, it will bring you to this page. So what you want to do is to log in with your Google account. It should be the same email address you use to register for ALX. All right. The same email address you use to receive mails from ALX. So you click on login with Google and you select that very email. All right. Once you select the email, it takes you into the portal itself. Here you could go ahead and begin to book an appointment. So this is what the portal or the dashboard looks like. You want to quickly navigate to this section and make sure you select your hub. All right. In my case, my hub is around Ilupeju. All right. So I click on that and then I choose when I want to book an appointment for. All right, so quickly, what you want to show is that you will be visiting your hub on a particular day. So right here, it's on the map section. The map section shows you an overview of the available spaces at the Olupeju Hub, all right, or at the Olupeju Hub. Today is the 22nd of May, 2023. So you want to book on a certain date that you would be available. Say you want to book for Friday, for instance, all right, and then you can decide to choose whatever seat that is available for you. You can also zoom in to see which seats are available. All right. Any seat that is not showing a green color right here shows that it is available. Another thing you want to take note of is the time. All right. Right now it's 7 p.m. showing right here. 19.00 is 7 p.m. Lagos time. So you want to navigate by scrolling this across this very board so that you could know what time you would be available and whatever time you're choosing will also tell you which seat is available for that time all right so right now i've set it to 9 a.m in the morning and you can see all this section showing green implies that it is occupied or someone has booked for that particular position so you can see right here there is no booking available for this slot but wherever you see a white available spot it shows that you can still go ahead and book for that spot However, it will also show you when you hover your mouse around that very location, it will show you those that have already booked and what time they are booked for, right? So presently, three persons are booked for this particular seat from 10 a.m. all through to 4 p.m. So I can go ahead, if I want to retain this particular spot, I can go ahead and book for 4 p.m. to perhaps 8 p.m. if I want to. But I think the maximum hours that you can book for right now based on the configuration of ALX Nigeria, Lagos is two hours per time, all right? And you are expected to be at the hub for two times a week. So two hours per visit, that is four hours for the entire week. If you book more than four hours, you will not be allowed to go ahead with the booking. That is how this system has been configured. All right, so that's it. Let's quickly jump into the booking. What you want to do is to click on the available spot, all right? And this very pop up or come on your screen so you choose the available time that you want to book for um 8 a.m is available as you can see 4 p.m is also available because the last person here booked for 4 p.m so you can also book from 4 p.m to um 6 p.m all right these are the available time so if i want to go first say i want to go for the morning section i can go ahead and click on the 8 a.m all right and then i fill out all these forms so the date I'll be going to the hub is Friday 26th from 8 a.m. Remember I said you have a maximum of two hours to spend at the hub. And if the next person that has booked that particular seat comes around, you have to vacate the seat for them. So your time is 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Do you want this to repeat? You could go ahead and choose to repeat daily. But you don't want to do this because it will not work for you. You only have a maximum of two slots to book for your visits to the hub every week. So if you go ahead and choose daily, you will have an error message when you are about to click on confirm. So I don't recommend you do this. 
all right? Instead, just book two different times for the week and you're good to go. All right, so that said, you want to go ahead to the spaces. You already have your space available. The space you selected was desk number 19. So you want to take note of that. And then here you can just give it the title of your choice. You could say my booking or whatever you choose to so name it as your title. Already your email will be automatically populated for you. And that is the same email that ALS recognizes because that is what you use to register when you were filling your registration form. Any cancellation, as it says here, you can cancel and change the booking anytime before it begins. Once your time for the visit is already taken, then you can no longer change that time. It will be assumed that you have lost that time and somebody else can actually cancel your booking if you do not log in or clock in. So it's expected that when you book an appointment on that very day, which is this particular day, Friday, from 8 a.m., you have to come back to this website or this portal and clock in. You will find a notification somewhere at the top edge asking you to clock in your time. I'll also show you how to do that anyway. So once you're done with this booking, you want to simply click on confirm, all right? You want to confirm the booking. And for my case, I've already booked twice this week, so I'm not sure this would allow me to confirm. You can see this booking is not confirmed because my quota is exceeded, all right? So I can no longer book again for this week because I already booked twice this week. However, once you have not booked at all, you click on confirm, the booking will be automatically recorded for you, all right? So that when you go to the, the your, your hub, you would find it logged in in their system, all right? Today, when I went to the hub, I was asked my phone number, and when I submitted my phone number, they checked on their system, and you found that I had booked an appointment with them. So this is how you can book an appointment. And once that is booked for you, you can go over to the list section here. Once you click on list, it will show you all the bookings for this particular day okay so you can head over to my bookings to actually see the booking that you have done for yourself obviously i didn't make any booking for friday the booking i made was for wednesday that is my next booking is for wednesday so if i choose wednesday it will show me when my next booking is all right and when it's time for me to visit the hub on this particular day and at this particular time I click on that booking and I will be seeing a section for me to clock in, all right, to clock in my time. So particularly for today, which is Monday, I've already clocked in my time. And that is why you can see at this very section, which is Monday, I actually checked in right here. Okay, so I believe with time, ALX will begin to track your visits to the hub. So you want to make sure that you do not just book an appointment to visit your hub. You also want to clock in when you visit the hub so that it can be recorded for you that you actually kept to your quota of visiting the hub twice every week. All right. So this is basically what you need to know. Any other thing, you could play around the system to see what you can make of it. All right. So that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. You could give me a thumbs up if you did. And uh, see you at the hub if you are part of my hub in the loop with you.